Hi, I'm Brendan, this is the ever lovely Chelsea, and that guy over there is Tim. You're watching Life on Film, and in this episode we're going to be discussing the movie Gattaca. In the not too distant future, our DNA will determine everything about us. A minute drop of blood, saliva, or a single hair determines where you can work, who you should marry, what you're capable of achieving. Gattaca is a film set in a dystopian future where eugenics, despite being widely outlawed, is actually openly embraced and practiced by the society. The two main characters are two men, one of whom has been genetically enhanced through the use of eugenics, but has been disabled as a result of an accident, the other young man, who is what they call a natural birth, uh, is struggling to fight his way up the class ladder that has been created because of the eugenics that is openly embraced within the society. Okay guys, can I start by saying that I think that Gattaca is one of my all-time favourite films because of the fact not only does it handle an important uh, ethical issue, but it handles it really well in a, in a very uh, artistically, uh, not just capable, but I think a really great way. Uh, what did you think of the film? Chelsea? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's something that I hadn't seen until recently. And so when I did, um, having recently also read Brave New World and really enjoyed that, I saw a lot of um, parallels. Tim, what do you think? What's your take? Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, Brennan. I think it's a yeah, well-made and excellent film, and, and I definitely picked up on the same themes um, as Chelsea did, especially sort of this uh, this concept of, of society losing um, the idea of, of merit and, and logic and determining what's, uh, what's right and uh, sort of just trying to predestine or or predetermine um, based on uh, factors that, you know, that they can control, trying to control uh, exactly the human person. Chelsea, let's talk about the fact, the way this, the, this evil is embraced, if you like, by this culture. In this film, which is probably different from a lot of other dystopian movies, there is no dictator, there's no great uh, you know, authoritarian government that's forcing the people, or seemingly, to do these things. Mm. Yeah, totally. The genetic engineering is embraced by the people in general, which would just be like in our society today, where IVF is a norm, um, where egg donation and sperm donation are used to um, create babies and often genetically um, designed or selected um, embryos. And in the same way, it's also kind of a latest thing because only the wealthy can really afford the expense of IVF or of perhaps um, purchasing eggs or um, whatever that involves um, and egg donation is something and sperm donation are encouraged um, in the same way and it's not imposed by the government in any way. So if the government's not imposing it, which is not obviously seems to be the case in this film and probably a lot in our society, what's driving it? Well I suppose people see it as a right to have a child and to have a child in the best way possible. Um, and if that involves genetic engineering, um, because they're going to be doing IVF anyway, then that's okay. As the technology is available, people embrace it. Okay, so Tim, there also seems to be a bit of a nod, or it strikes me that perhaps there was this going on, to uh, perhaps questions of a theistic or religious nature, maybe Christian ethics or West traditional Western ethics. What did you think? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, visual cues in the film, um, which uh, suggest uh, that uh, the, the new morality embraced by and genetic engineering is a step away from the old uh, sort of traditional Western uh, Christian way of thinking about ethics. Uh, at the start of the film, um, there, uh, there's a very prominent uh, set of rosary beads uh, and, and a vehicle um, that the parents of the main character are, are in. There's also uh, the children who are not born of genetic engineering, the children born naturally, are referred to several times as, as, as God children or as faith births or as children born of love, um, with the implication that, that people who do not genetically engineer uh, a life are uh, trusting in God or are uh, uh, bringing forth life out of, out of its natural state. So, yeah, there's definitely, uh, there's, that seems to be implied as, as, a, as, as the old way of doing things, the old-fashioned way of doing things. What, one thing that struck me, perhaps, was that even Jude Law's character, when he finally, at the, movie, at the end of the movie, he takes his own life, and it's interesting the way he takes his own life in, a, in, a, in a, a furnace and he's consumed by fire. And you sort of perhaps get that sense of um, perhaps this whole nod to the Promethean thing or perhaps Icarus 
who flies too close to the sun and his wings are burnt and he falls to his doom. You sort of get this whole sense of the filmmakers exploring this question of, uh, you know, what is man's right to do, even though he might have the technology to do, versus what is God's role and, and where does that boundary lie? And, 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 and it seems to be the movie is one big warning that we shouldn't be crossing certain boundaries. In a society where success is determined by science, divided by the standards of perfection, one man's only chance... How do you expect to pull this off? I don't know exactly. ...is to hide his own identity. This is the last day that you're going to be you and I'm going to be me. ...by borrowing someone else's. Congratulations. What about the interview? That was it. One of the big questions at the heart of this film, well, the biggest question at the heart of this film, is eugenics. What is the implications of this movie for us today, this present time, right here, right now, with what's going on in our culture? Is eugenics here or not? Uh, is this technology here already? Is it something to come or that we should be aware of? Chelsea? Um, well, if not here already, then it's definitely something that is on the forefront constantly and people are talking about, you know, they've been talking about human clones, they've been talking about all sorts of things that get thrown around all the time um, amongst IVF and things like that already going on. And there is such a pressure for perfection in everything in our society from, you know, TV and media and, you know, um, schooling, everything, that why would that not be from birth, you know? Yeah, eugenics does exist in our society um, with the expansion of, of abortion and of course um, the advances in uh, uh, fetal testing um, that have allowed uh, uh, doctors to identify um, certain disabilities and medical conditions and of course um, it becomes eugenics once the, the diagnosis is, is given to the parents and they choose to abort um, and, and, and essentially uh, prevent the birth of people that they consider um, defective or that their life has less value. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? And that's very much the heart of this film, isn't it? The way the culture has just seemingly very unthinkingly embraced this uh, this difference in the way it treats people based on the genetics and you definitely see that with the issue of genetic testing most uh, prominently at the moment for uh, persons with Down syndrome and the vast majority of whom will end up being aborted once the testing reveals that they have different genetics to the rest of us so quite clearly this is it would seem a very eugenic practice because these people are being uh, treated differently to us and in fact losing their lives based on their genetics and, and, and uh, whether or not it's deemed that they have a life that is worthy or uh, a life that will be valid or can contribute something in some way. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, wrap the thing up now. What do you think overall? We'll start with you Chelsea. How many stars out of five would you give Gattaca? I really enjoyed it. I think that I'd probably give it about a four out of five. Yeah, um, yeah I really enjoyed the themes and the, the general movie here. Yeah. Okay, Tim, what do you think? Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. I'd definitely I'd give it four stars. Um, it's an excellent film and, and especially important for those who are interested in, in discussing or thinking about uh, issues related to uh, eugenics, to, to genetic engineering and to, to technologies like IVF. So there you have it, folks. Uh, Gattaca. Some pretty high praise from the panel. I, I'm probably going to go uh, one step further and say that I'd give it maybe four and a half stars. Um, it's a great film. It handles a profoundly important and very timely ethical issue, the question of eugenics and uh, particularly genetic technology uh, in a very uh, deft way and in a very uh, thought-provoking and challenging way. It really encourages us as a culture to ask the question, are we headed down the right path when it comes to some of these technologies, particularly the artificial fertility technologies and our ability to supposedly enhance our, our personhood, enhance what it is to be human. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Life on Film. But in a place where any cell from any part of your body can betray you. How do you hide when we all shed 500 million cells a day? Ethan Hawke. Uma Thurman. Welcome to Gattaca.